Man, look at this thing. Dang. God, this looks almost exactly like my Bronco. It's like someone did a copy, an exact copy of mine. Who would do such a thing? Holy cow. Hey, is this yours? Do you like the rig? Dude, I, I swear to God, I thought someone trailered mine here. I may have had a little bit of inspiration. Okay, this is getting kind of weird. <laughs> what is your name? Mike. Oh my God, that's even weirder. All right. Well, okay, all right, it's cool good, though. Good to meet you. Yeah. I'm just gonna, I need to adjust. Cause it's like, <laughs> your name's Mike and like you got my Bronco. Ah, uh, you know, I've been a fan for a couple years. So you know about the Monster Garage Bronco? I've seen it once or twice. Uh-huh. Uh, Jesse James helped you with it maybe? Okay. A little bit? Yeah. Yeah. So you don't have my phone number or anything, do you? I mean, no. Okay. You're the book. All right, you want it? Yeah, <laughs> of course. All right, so tell me, <laughs> tell me a little more about this, because you know I'm a little freaked out, right. but I'm kind of, uh, I'm yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. curious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've had the Bronco for 12 years. Okay. Uh, I actually ran into you at Super Celebration like years back when you had Monster there, and I mean, one of the coolest Broncos I've ever seen in person. I got to be honest, I totally don't remember you. Really. <sighs> <laughs> all, right, all right, we'll work on that. <laughs> yeah, you should have like wore a banana hammock or next something. Next time, next time I will. Yeah. I've got one actually. I can oh, throw it. Okay. One, right now? No? one step at a time. All right, all right, calm down. <laughs> so 12 years you've owned this Bronco? 12 years, yeah. And so been kind of just working on it bit by bit and piece by piece. And it was it was painted kind of a darker green at one point. Okay. Kind of just like the standard upgrades that people do. You know, what year is it? 66. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So First year. First year, um, there's not a ton left that's actually, you know, 66. Like, it's pretty much a lot of custom parts here and there and kind of hobbled together and whatever. I gotta say, it, it looks like the work was done by someone who knew what they were doing, but also- I wouldn't you, go that far. Yeah, well, I don't know. The thing is, is see, when I got my Bronco, <laughs> I put it in my garage and I just, you know, used my skill set to, you know, enhance it. Yeah. It seems like that's what's being done here. Absolutely. So, I mean, right? these things come pretty good stock already, you know? And so you yeah. just add a little bit here and there and, you know, I learned to weld over time and nice. it kind of kind of got a little better. All right, so give me the rundown here. What, what size tires we got? So they're they're 38 Yokohama Geolanders. I've, okay. ha I've had them for eight years. I'm, I, I need some new ones. About how much lift? Uh, gosh, I don't know. It's three and a half in the rear. Uh -huh. I'm probably kind of matching that in the front. It's got a two inch body lift, uh -huh. so I don't know, five and a half ish. Okay. And I noticed you put two and a half inch King Coilers. Those 14s? They are 12s, actually. 12s. I know, I know. Well, that's okay, that's okay. Um, for, for packaging reasons. If you had a 14, you'd have to darn near come out of the hood. That was the issue, too. And you try and get it get it set so you get a little bit of an angle to it. Yeah. And, and that's hard with these when you're going with the stock width axle and all that. So I tried to maximize the shock hoops, get as much of the travel as I could, and kind of equal out the up and down on it. You know, droop, droop's important for this game, but right. trying to do what I could. Okay, so this Bronco went out for the first time yesterday, right? Yeah, it did. Chinaman's Gulch. All right, yeah. Yeah, and what's that? That's like a seven out of a 10, right? I mean, it was, it's got some tough parts. Yeah. It does. I found them. How'd you do? Uh, I mean, are we talking the whole trail or are we talking like parts and pieces? Like, you know, what ended up finally making this thing stop? <laughs> so whales still crushed me. <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, I maybe had some, some spotting issues. Really? If I would have probably got a better line. Bad spotter? Yeah, I, I probably wouldn't have broken a rear axle shaft, which was a chromoly. Every every guy who wheels his Bronco, I hear that, you know, it's the <laughs> spotter's fault. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, whatever. I, I, was, I mean, I was following the spotter's you know, direction, so obviously. <laughs> but broken, right? You were already broken when you uh, when you had a spotter issue? Come on, be uh, level with me now, I gotta be I honest. I don't know, I, I do think there was another <laughs> spotter involved as well that maybe got it broken and then there was a secondary break. You, you see how he's trying to throw me under the bus here? I, I feel I feel the burn of the tire tracks on my back right now. It snowballed a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great, so you broke a rear shaft yep. on whale's tail, Yep. and then after that, things got a little sloppy. Uh, yeah, we, tr we tried to get it past whale's tail, uh -huh. and we figured if we get past this, it's fairly easy sailing after that, and it, it would have been uh -huh. if I would have been three-wheel drive. But I, uh, I had an issue with an upper link that uh, became a spaghetti noodle. Uh oh. That dropped that pinning angle. It broke my double carton. Oh, no. I'm gonna, Tom Woods, I think, will take care of me, so I'm gonna talk to those guys. Nice. Uh, but then I kind of went to like one wheel drive at that point, and we we're like, ah, maybe, maybe not the best day for uh, a showing on its first outing. I gotta, I gotta say, though, you seven out of 10 on something that hasn't been out on a trail yet. Not yet, yeah. You got about halfway, and then you got to the hardest spot, and surprisingly, right, what broke you weren't expecting, right? No, 100%. Yeah. It, it was a chrome shaft in the back, and, right. and I don't, I know. I yeah. probably, there, there's some things I could have done a little better, but yeah, we'll and, better uh, next time. And we've got a uh, 5.0? It's a 5.0, yep, it's out of a uh, 88 Mercury Cougar. Then transmission? It's a uh, C4. Okay, and it's got anything uh, like a manual reverse valve body or It anything? does, and it's just a standard, you okay. know, Ford, like just regular setup, and then uh, the shifter? 
The shifter is an art car. Okay. Yeah, art car, old old one I've had for a while. And then so it works great. Transfer case. Uh, Atlas two. So it's a three eight Atlas two. Three eight with yeah. what gearing in the axles? Four tens. It nice. works. It does. Yeah, it's not. Great. I mean, it could be lower. My that's my great. crawler's lower than I've got, and you uh -huh. can tell a difference. But this thing, it looked like it did. It was doing all right. So did you take your son? Yeah, he loves it. It's. I mean, he helped me build it. So you gotta you gotta take him along. You, you think he's gonna build one himself one day? I don't know if he'll build one himself, but he might get a little help from his dad and <laughs> the two of us together. You know, that's bring our powers awesome. powers combined. Yes. Yeah, he loves his stuff. He's all about it. All right, you know, it's 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 a little creepy, you know, that <laughs> your Bronco looks a lot like mine and that your name's Mike, but you know, it's also really cool. Thanks. So, 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 what do you do for a living, Mike? Uh, I'm in the army. I, uh, I fly helicopters. You fly helicopters? Uh, when they let me do it, you know, when I'm not doing powerpoints and office stuff. And I gotta say, you're you're probably a little cooler than me. Uh, uh, I, mean, I don't know. Anything that's you know up in the air, flying around. I mean, I, I get mad respect. Dude. I don't have my own show, so you know, I, that's <laughs> I'm working towards that. Then then we'll talk, you know. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. You, you, you're gonna do a shameless plug for your own show on my show? I mean, I do I do have a brand called Ma Deuce where we're getting going, so I mean. Watch him go. I mean, whatever, I've got a race car now, we're gonna do some Ultra 4. Wow. I mean, yeah, shameless plug, right? I think he's, he's showboating. Honestly, I think he's. I think he's trying to show not, off. Not an Apache pilot. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, this is a super cool ride, and I absolutely love the color. I'm a, bi I'm a little biased, you know, but uh, it was so cool to go and hang out with you on the trail. And how cool was it that we both got to go hang out with oh my gosh. the Fun Havers? Oh my gosh, Lauren Healy, Von Gittin Jr. Like, you don't just get to go hang out with no, those guys. Like, no, that's that not was, a normal thing. No, it was, it was so super set cool. Set up perfect. It was great. And. Yeah. I hate the carnage. It could have been worse. Yeah. Um, but you know, still, it's a fun day and hanging out with a good crew. So you know, I, I will say this: uh, we need to get some more uh, some duff parts on this thing. I don't what, disagree with what, you. Maybe the track bar. We'll start uh, there. That's probably a good start, yeah. actually. You want to take a look under the hood real quick? Let's do it. Let's, let's pop the hood and see what we got. Oh, look at you! Even have quick latches on. I here. do. It's, it's a little. little you gotta get that side. Another little lift. Little monster feature there. It's, it's not terrible. Somebody somebody paid attention to that monster build. <laughs> It's almost like you came into my shop and started taking notes and pictures. I list, I poured over the pictures in the Bronco Driver magazine that did like the profile of this. Yeah. And looked at like almost every bend you had in the cage and stuff. Just because it was it was done well, you know, it was done right. Had the right clearances. I looked at the rock lights, like you know, it was good. Did you it was all right. How many times were you watching me sleep? Like, oh, what's what's a normal amount? Oh, for for the for the people that stalk me? Yeah. Oh, twice a week. That's about all. Yeah, okay. All right, all right. So, yeah, so you're not extra creepy. You're normal creepy. Normal creepy. Yeah. Well, Mike, hey, I really appreciate you showing hey, off your Bronco, man. Thank you. I appreciate it's having super, me. super, super cool. Good thank job you. with the build, man. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. We're going to see you again next year at Reina Vista? Uh, it depends. I might be uh, might be moving next year. Well, I'm definitely moving next year. All right, because of the Army. It is. And so wherever I go, you know, I'd like to, it's not being a Vista, it's not Townsend. We'll, we'll try to make something happen, but I can't wait to get these two together. And That's right. We got to connect. Close. Uh, right on, man. I like well, cool. it. Cool. All right. We'll Thanks see you next time. Appreciate it. Yep. Hey, what's going on? Hey, Michael. Hey. So, you're Terry? Yes, sir. And what was your last name? Hawkins. Terry Hawkins. That's a cool last name, by the way. Well, thank you. Yeah. So, what do you do for a living before we talk about this? Because, obviously, that plays into what this is, right? Right. Yeah, I own a shop in uh, Western Colorado, in Montrose, Colorado. Uh -huh. And we kind of do everything, but, of course, we love the, the custom fabrication.